and welcome to AMB Bronze 23 which has just started um, since it's bronze we have a 12 hour play time limit the rewards for all the way up to completing troll 130 are identical in all AMB events and then the medals go down as far as the top 1000 in this case and we get more of the defensive ones from bronze uh, a medal of knowledge for a top 50 and whatever that is vigor for the top 10 which no never aiming to do that um, this would be nice at some stage so i'm going to be playing a fire lily build um, i've already crafted a new experience farming fire lily for this main account experience farmer um, which has its 500 percent but i would like out of amb to replace this push fire lily um, as it's an existing old one it's uh, had its description altered to match the actual damage that it was doing prior to 1.6.6 dropping so we was always doing 400 percent extra damage now we will do 500 percent um so let us create an event hero which is going to be a mage Ooh, don't think i've seen that animation before let's just call it wispy bronze too long Aren't we off to a great start? That'll do. Uh, we're on a mage. There we go. And obviously we start in Shores of Hope. Now my character does attack a lot faster than a new players would purely because of the medals that are on the account so they become far less impactful the further in we are of course we've got this terribly slow movement speed at the moment i think i am going to get the big crate of materials purely because I do would like to come away with a couple of 77s from this event um, so first up we can just click that quest complete brave the ruins find Marcus um, so let's do all our character unlocks I'm going to end up going quite low on our gems but I've got quite a few that I can re-farm from other characters I've got five starring to do so nice and cheap inventory rows we'll expand those um, I'm only going to unlock two upgrade slots we've got so much time in this event and we're going to be running trial 102 for a long time in it so we should get plenty of three hour books to get all our relevant skills upgraded um uh, we can't unlock anything else just yet that will come soon we'll unlock these slots here um i'm going to hire a couple of maggies so that's another thousand going Ooh. there hire companions don't need to get a third one because Eileen will fill that role that and that click I'll drop them into there for now um, not interested in any of this gear so the grey stuff I'll sell 
I sell grey gear because we don't get anything good farming materials wise from it. Um, we're going to need some gold. That will be enough at 50 gem 1 to get us all the way to level 70. One each of these 50 gem crates. And the reason for that is that we need silk and we need iron and we do need cursed leather so we'll get loads of lesser essences from that and the big one um, that's purely so I can instantly craft an experience farming set once we're at 70 save some real life time uh, AMB bronze completely unnecessary but we'll do that or shall I I'm wavering that will take us to 6,000 and we've got a load of these to buy. You get a few of these just out of the way. Um, yeah, I can recover that if I do some furious farming over the weekend. So I am going to open this and organise inventory here. So I'll pause the video and we'll meet back up once that's done and I'll craft the initial experience farm set. Okay, so those are done. Got loads of materials here now. Uh, so let's create our experience farming set to start with. Um, and obviously this is all ephemeral stuff uh, melee we'll go just sword with haste and experience on it and a tome just a normal one with haste and experience then our armor is just normal haste experience across the board apart from boots and pants where we'll drop haste and put in uh, movement speed which is the next one coming up so we'll get rid of haste put in movement speed on those do that craft yep um, and boots Exactly the same movement speed experience. Ooh. And just some regular normal gloves with haste and experience. So those are the stats that I will use every time I craft replacement gear as we level up. Um, cape, just a normal cape with haste and experience. A normal bracer haste and experience and a normal belt as well we've not got any special attacks going on here and finally two trinkets so our first one is going to be the fire lily which will have haste experience let's throw in some extra gold and uh, let's just stick on a water stat just so that we're not wasting too many good materials so we've only got that for its big damage boost we're losing out on experience stats as we level up but that will do us all the way through to level 70 and beyond for a bit so we'll craft that um, and we'll do exactly the same with a vial of the wind spirit so again this gives nice big AOE damage or area of effect damage once we've built up 10 charges so although they're only level 3 so we do slow ourselves a little in terms of experience game but in terms of time spent running around especially once we hit trials we make a much bigger saving um, so the reason I 
sell grey. I'll salvage one of them, but you'll see we don't get any essences from salvaging grey. You might get a few materials up here, uh, but no essences come from them, so I don't want those at all. Um, where are we? Uh, I want fireball at level 3 before we continue. At the moment it just does weapon damage. At level 2 it will still be doing weapon damage and once it hits level 3 it does some splash damage so it will hit everyone around the enemy. So for now pause the video and wait for those abilities to upgrade a bit. And welcome back. So Fireball and Immolate have both reached level 3. So now we can see that it affects all enemies in a small area. Um, I'm not going to set those off on further upgrades because we're about to unlock Frostbolt and um, Frostnova and Endurance. So rather than having to vanish for half an hour once we've hit level 5 if I set these other skills upgrading um, I can vanish for a shorter period of time oh. get them moving along it's a bit of a worry internet has been problematic here so it might not recognize that we're in AMB if I'm offline the fact that it's blue is good that suggests it's updating to the server please turn green <laughs> I may have to go and look at the router. <laughs> yeah, it's gone red again. So, progress hasn't been saved. So, if it thinks we're offline, things are going to be. Oh, it is showing as ephemeral. Okay. I would rather that it's saving progress, so I am going to stop for the minute and go and look at the router. Normally just staring at it makes it switch back on. So, be back again very soon. And we're back, and hopefully you see that the game has finally saved to the server, so I will turn in that quest that we just ran through Brave the Ruins um, we've hit level 5 so we can unlock these additional ability slots these will be at level uh, so they vary depending on on AMB bronze, silver and gold. I hadn't realised that. I know in gold this is 51 I think and a bit higher still. Um, so we've got frost bolt we want to upgrade and I'm going to go with endurance for now. Frost Nova will take that as an ability. I will probably change that to Blizzard when we get there, since Blizzard does more damage. Uh, we'll equip Frost Bolt, but I'm going to put it in slot 1. I like using slot 2 as my main auto attack, so just switch them around. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned, I've not crafted any jewellery yet. I usually wait until I'm about level 20 before doing anything with jewellery just because the stack gain for very low level is pretty poor. Um, level 2 gear, we're strong enough, so strong enough I should say, to deal with that. Um, Marcus's village, we are going to get 
I think the little quest here from Quack will collect it. Um, might as well do it. It's a gem reward. Kick the barrel. We'll collect these things on the floor and we'll turn that in with Quack while he's here rather than waiting for him to walk exceptionally slowly across the map um, and then we'll just run to the end and get Marcus and he will join us until we've got Eileen from Andera Marcus will just click through his conversation to save time. Bit of gold collected and we're done. Uh, Grey gear we're not bothering about. So we'll turn in that quest. Pick up this one. We've got a side quest here. Get us some mushroom stew. So we might as well do the side quests as we go through. Since we do have a lot of time in this event. So we'll talk to Walt. They've always said pregrams rather than programs. <laughs> I don't know if that's a typo that they've never bothered fixing or whether that's intentional. And we shall pick some apples on the way through. to get some movement speed onto this character <laughs> they are so slow to start with yeah. and we just saw um, our violet wind spirit kill a load of things around us <laughs> this side because there's a I know there's plenty of mushrooms on the map but um, still nice to get them out the way nice and early Marcus and the others want to go and fight the enemies right back at the start even though they're not chasing us so they keep turning around and wanting to run away I'll ignore that chest. And click this one and we'll get down and finish the game or the level. And so Marcus and friends have all decided to clear off. <laughs> Who knows where they are at the moment. Now they're going to do their manic dancing. So onwards to Andera is complete. Uh, abandoned farm which is stand still and do nothing. Do we get a useful stat on this ring? No. And mushroom stew which is a 100% currency booster, uh, experience booster. So I will put a small treasure into storage. We'll open that when we reach level 70 since it will give better crafting materials at 70. Uh, the ring, I suppose we could wear it for now until we're level 20. And I will put the experience booster up there. So it's 15 minutes at 
experience. Um, so the video isn't ridiculously long. What I will do is pause it. Actually, can we unlock that now? Yes, good. So we'll stick in those abilities. Um, I'm going to pause the video, recraft all this gear since uh, it's, it's turning grey because we have, well, we have gone 10 levels above it so we're not getting much benefit from that so that will all come off and be sold. I'll craft new items with exactly the same stats and we're keeping these here. Um, since you don't need to see all that and it will just make the video drag on and on and on I will do that off camera. Um, I will probably upgrade these to level 3 before we move on as well so see you again in a while. And welcome back. So I took what two skills frostbolt and endurance up to level three uh, arc lightning and fleet footed up to level two but i do want to get on with moving things along so arc lightning and fleet footed are on their way to level three uh, reason i'm not using arc lightning at this stage is that it's just doing a bit of weapon damage and a chance to jump and it's good effects like increasing your attack speed coming at levels 8 and extra damage at level 10 or or another way around I'm not sure off the top of my head which way around those come in um, I think what I'll do for part one of this series is just run through to Andera here and collect Eileen and then uh, part 2 will jump into Trials and get up to level 70. Uh, so this is a nice easy map where we're just going to stand here on the grassy knoll and shoot things from afar. Thirteen. So we're going to be somewhere around or twenty by the time we get Eileen. Didn't see how long we had left on this booster when we started this level. And you know, it takes about one minute after the last spawn. <laughs> second group of elites yeah that that map takes about a minute for everything to spawn on us uh, defiler uh, I need to remember I haven't got shatter here so I can't just sprint through and ignore everything the reason I'm saying that is just to remind myself because in the off-camera sections when I'm waiting for abilities to upgrade I'm running another character through story maps five starring it and obviously they've got the full elemental lord regalia armor and grand magister's command weapon set with them so they can just shatter everything without stopping or thinking <laughs> <clears throat> Technically there's nothing stopping me from crafting Grand Magister's Command right now um, for the Shatter process to work we only needed Frost Nova and Frost or Frostbolt really available we've got both of them way beyond level 20 by the time we get Eileen. <laughs> Map after this one, so... 
already level 19 and there goes level 20 and a 10 minute book of learning thank you very much <laughs> should we use that uh, no I'm not going to I'll hold on to it for something else So they all died there because uh, Viola the Wind Spirit triggered, so that's it up there, slowly building charges. And we're done. No we're not, there's something down here. Oh no, it's at the bottom. He's run away now, so Level done, turn in the side quest. No, there is no side quest. <laughs> uh, rescue Eileen, so this will be the final part of this episode. Um, for reaching level 20, we get some treasure and dungeon keys. Uh, I will save the dungeon keys up here and the treasure for level 70 we'll open that then I'll throw that book of learning down there until I spot something I want to use it on uh, we are level 21 um, let's get Eileen with this gear and then I can craft new gear next time out when we jump into trials quest I saw it flashing somewhere men and women of Apple there we are don't have fire lily you can still go with this exact same stat setup it just means you have to craft weapons a bit more often so sort of every five levels rather than ten which is all I'm doing with this one I'll grab that chest defeat the robots and finish the level with these things and we're done so we've collected Eileen she's going to become a party character we'll drop Marcus don't want him in the team anymore so Eileen uh, who does Vortex along with the two Maggies so I will turn in those quests I'll collect Ancient Evil but we're not going to run it certainly not yet in any case um, and that will wrap up this episode so where are we? I will craft new gear ready for the start of next part since this is all too low level with the exception of these which are there purely for the damage boost and for the very strong area of effect ability um, so what have we got going on down here a whole load of things finished or have unlocked this is one that we will want to upgrade Blizzard, I'm going to take that instead of Frost Nova. Reason for swapping them, Frost Nova is doing 55% weapon damage and it's freezing things in place. Um, 
but we're not using the Grand Magister's weapons so it's not that helpful at this stage whereas Blizzard is going to do almost four times as much damage so we'll take that for now that will go back in once we're level 70 and playing around with the set items um, any questions or comments feel free to put them down below and as always thank you very much for watching